Good morning. Uh, I have some good news and some bad news. But we'll talk about that later in the video. First, we're gonna head to the gym. Done with my protein shake, I'm now eating a bowl of oatmeal. I had to go on my computer and add some things to the description box of the video I had go up this morning because I had forgotten to add the recipe links. So I did that. This oatmeal is not very good. But to this, it's kind of blah. I'll finish it because I don't like wasting food, but whatever. And then as soon as we're done with this, it's time to take a shower. And I gotta go do a summer stock up grocery haul. I'm recording that separately. It's a whole other video. You probably will have already seen it actually. And we gotta figure out what we are making for dinner tonight. Because I don't know. A little longer than a few minutes later. Shower's done. It's time for step one of the bad news. Is I have to pay taxes today. I have to go mail a really hefty check to the government. I have to mail a really hefty check for my property taxes. I don't have any makeup yet. I just put moisturizer on. So that's why I'm a little shiny. That's bad news number one. But good news number one is the following. In my mom's process of unpacking, she gave me this enormous king-sized down duvet cover. Amazing, right? It's so, so, Soft, like I can't even tell you. I'm really excited about this because it's gonna be amazing on my bed. And going along with that bad news, I got some fairly cheap sheets from Amazon for my bed less than a year ago. They look so dingy already. But good news is this, bad news is that. Also bad news, I don't have a cover for this. Great news is that Brooklinen was able to send me some new sheets and a duvet cover for the amazing duvet insert that my mom gave me. Really high quality bed sheets and duvet covers are oh, a whole lot of money. Brooklyn and cuts out the middleman and sends the items directly to you. Brooklyn is offering you guys an awesome deal. If you wanna get $20 off a purchase of $100 or more, all you have to do is go to the link down below and use the code frugalfitmom. Brooklinen was founded on the philosophy that you deserve some luxury in your life with a smaller price tag. I ended up getting Brooklinen's Lux sheet set and duvet cover. The sheet set I picked up in the graphite color for an extra pillow set and the duvet cover, I went with this beautiful classic window pane look. It is white and light and airy and I feel like it really lightens up the room. So not only do they feel great, they look great. And if you don't like the colors that I picked, they have like 20 different colors that you can try. And if you wanna save even more, instead of buying the individual items, you can save 25% by buying the hardcore bundle, which includes the core sheet set, the duvet cover, and an extra set of pillowcases. It's exactly what I got. You can mix and match, which is what I did, or you can get all the same color for a really seamless look. I have the sateen kind, which is more tightly woven, so it's gonna be a thicker material. Don't be scared of the thicker material. Material. It's actually weirdly soft and every night when I lay down to go to sleep. I'm like, oh my gosh I'm so Comfortable and then when I wake up in the morning, I think I'm so comfortable and I have not thought that about my bed in a very very long time Okay, these are legit the most comfortable sheets I have ever slept on I just feel like my room is so luxurious now and I am loving it. I cannot recommend Brooklyn enough. And once again, they're gonna give you guys an awesome deal. $20 off your purchase of $100 or more. I've got a link down below. Use the code frugalfitmom. And thanks so much to Brooklyn for hooking me up with this 
awesome bedroom set. Two thumbs way, way up from Christine. Oh, it is a bright and beautiful day. So I think I'm gonna run to Sam's Club and get a few things that I ran out of and let's do a Sam's Club haul. Trash bags, I didn't wanna run out again. So I got two of these and I'm all out of my favorite <laughs> roasted sea salt almonds and they were on sale today. So I grabbed two of them so I wouldn't run out again. My kids have been loving the carnation. I still call it instant breakfast. For the first time, I saw women's size small and medium life jackets. These are Coast Guard approved and I got uh, a size small for Haley and a size medium for me. Hopefully these should be good for Haley and I, Haley and me. Two number 10 cans of sliced peaches. These are honestly one of my <laughs> favorite things on the planet Earth and the peaches in the store are not like in season yet, so they're not very good. So I thought I would go with these. Couple of produce items, some lettuce, the mini cucumbers, six of the English cucumbers. I was about to get the Mission low carb tortilla wraps. I saw these right next to it. And if I remember right, Sarah from Our Tribe of Many buys these. Am, am I right in thinking that? I decided to take a look at the nutritional information on the back. It has one gram net carbs more than the Mission low carb. If you care about that kind of thing, this one does have more protein in it. It was cheaper and I like that it's a whole grain and flax. So we're, Dave and I are gonna try these out and see if we like them, but we might be switching to these instead of the low carb tortillas. Some brown sugar for baking. I wanted to make some easy dinners. <laughs> with some beef patties. I think, unfortunately, this container will only feed my family for two meals for burgers, which is really sad. All the tomatoes were a really good price today, so I got one big package of the tomatoes on the vine, the grape tomatoes, and two pounds of strawberries. Oh, these smell intoxicating right now. And a whole bunch of drinks. I picked up this three pack of the Mio. We've got Lemonade, vitamins, and Mio Energy, although the black cherry flavor is probably my least favorite out of these. One more container of the Zip Fizz Energy. This is the grapefruit. Actually, I really like this flavor. Got one container of the Crystal Light. My kids love just the regular lemonade flavor. One container of Propel. This is one of my favorite things. That is everything I got from Sam's Club today. And because I was in town, I decided to run over to my discount store and I found these items. One big container of the Ocean Spray Craisins. This was like $3 for this huge container. A big goldfish cracker. I just thought this would be fun. <laughs> cookie flavored hot chocolate mix. Snickerdoodle, gingerbread, oatmeal, sugar cookie. There are these packets like this. I just, I just thought that would be so fun. The Gatorade Whey Protein Bar are delicious. I, I highly encourage Haley to take these when she's doing a big sport match and stuff like that because one bar is 350 calories. So if you're doing a five hour, like multiple tennis matches or an all day volleyball camp, one of these is an awesome, like shove it in your face super quick and get in a good amount of calories and protein right away. I haven't bought macaroni and cheese in so long like i can't even remember the last time i bought macaroni and cheese and ramen honestly but i saw these five packs for like two bucks so i thought i'd grab a couple of those for the kids summer's coming looks fun i wanted some more crackers to go with all of my laughing cow cheese that i have right now so i found this six seed crunch master i've seen this at sam's club i think it's at costco too two of these townhouse pita crackers these are delicious if you ever see these at the store you need to go buy them they're amazing <laughs> that's all i got little discount store items sam's club items I'm trying to decide what to eat first those 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 i don't know that's my uh little well it's not really little is it medium size ish haul for today. I had a great idea for dinner tonight. So I have some leftover uh, meal prepped chickens, about four pieces in there, and this family size salad kit. So what if we had chicken Caesar salad and I buttered some of this sourdough bread, cooked that in the oven to go on the side, and maybe I even have some broccoli. I steam up some of this broccoli, like chicken Caesar salad, some more veg, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, like garlic sourdough toast over here. Really, really easy and fast. And I clear out some things in the fridge. I love it. Gentle 
viewers, we are going to the library. It's my favorite place. It's like Disney World. We are going in search of the TV show, you, you may have heard of it, Friends, because we cannot find it anywhere well, it's except- on, It's on HBO, but I'm not gonna pay for that. We're gonna right? see if it's at the library. And then maybe there'll be some good books there too, because you I'm know- I'm out of books, I need a book. I feel that. Do you feel I kind of do, I've started to become a little bit of a reader. Say what? 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 A little longer than a few minutes later. I would say that was a successful trip. I had so many books I couldn't walk. I know, I was just staying in like the young adult section and she came over with her hands full. She's like waddling with all these books. She's like, I think I'm done. on a shelf, I was looking at the Kristen Hanna section, because I was like, oh, I wonder if there's a book I haven't read of hers. There's not, I've read them all. <laughs> and I was like, oh, bummer, there's gotta be something else. I'm just kinda like wandering around, you know, you see the spine of a book and you see the title and you're like, huh, looks, that looks quite interesting. Back from the library. What time is it, Haley? Um, 6.50 on the dock. 6.50 on the dot. Why does it feel so late? Wow, I am tired. Getting up at 5.15 is, it's a lot when you're this old. Dave just headed out to go look at a road bike. His road bike is old. He got it used several years ago, super, super cheap, just to see if he liked road biking. He found one on the Facebook marketplace that is a lot better, a much nicer upgrade, and I think he could sell his for close to what he can buy the new one for, which is weird, but. Bikes are going for a lot right now, so he's looking to upgrade his upgrade his road bike. So he would love to do that. This is Haley's back. She's working on some kind of homework Health. situation. Thought I'd show you what I got at the library because I have people ask all the time. I renewed Arrow for Andrew and I, so maybe Andrew and I will go watch an episode. I think we only have one or two left of season one, and then we're done. So maybe I'll go downstairs and we'll do that. I got Dream Girls for Haley and I to watch. Uh, she's never seen it. I think it's a, it's actually a really sad story, honestly. Aeon Flux, I remember watching that and thinking it was interesting. We also got Friends uh, seasons one and two. They had most of the seasons there, but you can only check these out for a week. So I, I don't even think we'll get through these. Book time. <laughs> An interesting variety. I have some biography and some fiction and some nonfiction. I went over into biography. I found Tina Fey, Bossy Pants. I have not read that. I found uh, Goldie. I adore Goldie Hawn. I'm interested to kind of learn about her life a little bit. Nonfiction, The Greatest Heights by Vanessa O'Brien. She lost her career in 08. She's an American British explorer and takes on K2. Fails a few times. I like mountaineering stories. I don't wanna be a mountaineer, <laughs> but I like reading about them. A cyclist's training Bible. I'm having a hard time with my cycling training, so I just wanted to like get some science behind like how you would train for a cycling race. I've read most of Jane Green's books, but I, this one does not look familiar to me, so I thought I would try this one out. Have you read The Book of Life? It's a series, there's a couple. Discovery of Witches, Shadow of Night. I liked the binding. That's why I picked this one. <laughs> I saw the binding and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. And there's three, so here we go. So those are all the books and movies and TV shows we picked up at the library. Are we gonna get to these? Who's to say? I don't really know. Now I'm really torn. Do I pick up a book or do I go watch Arrow with Andrew? Or do I put on an episode of Arrow and like kind of half watch it because I've already seen it and he hasn't while I read a book? If I were you, and I'm not, but I'm here, uh, <laughs> I would put on Friends. No, you have homework. I know, and it stinks. You're almost done. We're winding down for the night, and I have a question for you. Dave and I are planning a room switch switcheroo. Not that we're moving our bedroom, but that we're moving our bedroom. <laughs> as far as the headboard goes, here, here's the deal. I've told you before, the room is small. Entrance into the room, bathroom. So the room is small, the doors are in weird places and that sort of thing. The headboard, while small, takes up about 
five to six inches of the footprint of the bed. Do we ex-nay the headboard in favor of like a built-in installed headboard on the wall? Mmm. I really need your opinions down below. Tell me what you think I should do, headboard or no headboard. We haven't done anything yet. And then also we're thinking about ripping out the carpet in this room and putting down some kind of like the laminate vinyl blah 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 stuff. So should I be matching the hardwood here or should I go with a different color? But like, cause the hardwood, hardwood's not going anywhere. What makes the most sense to you? I enjoyed hanging out with you today and I'm so excited to go to sleep in this super, super soft bed. I can't even tell you how life-changing having these super soft sheets and bedding is. Like, there's no words really. And if you wanna get a deal also, just go to the link down below and use the code FRUGALFITMOM to save $20 off any purchase of $100 or more on whatever you want on the site. Huge thanks to Brooklinen for hooking me up with um, a little bit of luxury for the uh, one third of my life that I spend in bed. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.